Wisdom Teachings from Archangel Michael by Rana Vazane, Sacred Scribe Recreating Paradise on Earth Beloved Masters, as humanity and the Earth make ready for the next great leap in evolution and expanded consciousness, all is being shaken to the deepest core of existence. The higher you reach toward enlightenment, the deeper you must go into the core essence of your past. As you tap into the memory seed atoms of your cosmic past and become aware of your royal heritage, you are also remembering how it was, time after time in your ancient past, when your reality and the world seemed to be turned upside down, and everything that was familiar swiftly changed in some manner, or was swept away, often through wars between races and nations or by ecological disasters via the elements of nature, fire, water, air, wind and earth movement. Every human on earth is in the midst of an evolutionary crisis at some level. At some level multitudes are striving to take off the residual thought patterns, habits and density of their animal human nature. There are also many of you who have functioned as refined beings of humanity for many lifetimes and are now moving into the realms of spiritual human beings, whereby your immortal soul is burning brightly within, and your auric field is overlighted by the eternal spirit essence of our Father Mother God. As we have stated many times before, God Goddess does not punish. However, as the universal pattern of change becomes more forceful and the shift of the ages accelerates, all that is not based on truth, balance and harmony will be shaken to its core. As you are becoming aware, many governments and civilizations have been constructed and permeated with negative third-dimensional vibrational frequencies of power, greed, control, and dishonesty, and now must face up to their misdeeds and the betrayal of trust bestowed upon them is being revealed. Those who insist on building or living in the low-lying coastal areas should now be aware that the earth changes that are taking place will continue and will increase for some time unless they stop building on the quicksand of negativity and irresponsibility. Your coastlines have changed many times before and will change again, for it is all part of the cycle of nature and the cleansing of the earth's surface. In the past, land masses have sunk only to rise again, refreshed, renewed, and soon teeming with new life. Drought comes to those areas that have been overused and destroyed by pesticides and chemicals, and deserts have blossomed after being fallow for hundreds of years. You have only to research the history of humanity and the earth to know this is true. So why are you so surprised when you once again must move from a time of the status quo into a time of change? There have always been cycles of death and rebirth as part of the evolutionary process, and these cycles affect every facet of creation. We do not wish to instill fear or doubt within. In fact, that is exactly what we wish to dispel, as we endeavor to assure you that you alone will decide whether you move into the new age with ease and grace or through cataclysms and chaos. We wish to help you understand what is in store for you over these coming months and years. Most of you reading these messages are aware that these are the most important times you will ever spend on Earth. The decisions you make now, and the energies you radiate out into the hologram within which you live, will determine your reality and how you will experience these momentous years of transition. It is time to decide whether you will move forward on the spiral of ascension through the gift of the life process or via the old energies of the death process. Make no mistake, every human being on the planet is in the midst of this transformative process at some level and in some form, whether they are aware of it or not. I ask you to project your consciousness outward away from yourself and your little picture of reality. Assume an expanded awareness. Imagine that you are viewing your life and the lives of those around you from our vantage point giving you the ability to see the panoramic view of what is occurring from moment to moment. Look back over your year, over several years. Have you not made great strides? Are you not a much wiser, more compassionate and more enlightened person? Can you not see the perfection or at least the justice in what has occurred in your past? Are you not stronger and wiser because of your trials and tests along the way? Observe those closest to you. Have they moved forward and expanded their awareness, or are they stuck on the treadmill of inertia, fearful because of their tunnel-visioned view of life? 
Are you becoming more proficient of letting go of old, outmoded habits and thought patterns? Is it not easier to filter through the plethora of information that is coming to you and to determine what is your truth and that which no longer serves your greatest good? You are in the process of re-establishing a heart-mind connection with spirit. It takes a unified heart and mind to bring together the cohesive power of our Father, Mother, God. Unconditional love is the magic key that ignites the wondrous process of creation. Love with conditions became the norm as humanity sank into the density, and from these negative thought patterns all other life-limiting concepts sprang forth and became your truth. Now is the time to reverse, release, and restructure your present reality, a new reality that encompasses all the lessons in mastery we have given you over the past years. We have given you ways to monitor your thoughts and still the mind in order to reprogram your subconscious and conscious minds with the higher wisdom from your divine self. We have helped you to bring the multitude minds of your chakra system into balance so that once again they are working in harmony with one another. Any wonder you have been at war with those around you, for you have been fighting a losing battle with your own shadow side for such a long time. You are the ones who must allow the divine force of creation to filter through you down into the earth and out from your solar heart center, so this wondrous elixir can gradually encompass the earth and help to awaken humanity. There will come a time when the radical forces of nature will no longer be necessary in order to cleanse and bring harmony to the earth. Can you not see how vastly important each of you is in this process of cleansing and transformation? Your goal is not just to ascend, but to allow your spirit self to descend so that there can be an integration and fusion of the many complex facets of yourself that were created during your diverse and wondrous journey throughout this universe and all of your earthly experiences. Before descending throughout this multidimensional universe as a divine spark of consciousness, you had a multitude of experiences where you exemplified all the virtues and qualities of the Creator in perfect harmony and in total alignment with divine will. In many other experiences, you used your vast mental abilities almost exclusively by focusing on a specific thought form or creation. Through your conscious intent, you brought forth the necessary unmanifested primal life force substance, and like a laser beam, you projected forth that perfect vision until it was miraculously manifested on the physical plane of consciousness. You have also had many wondrous adventures focusing almost exclusively on the emotional facets of your multidimensional self. Using the virtues and attributes of your goddess nature, while in the higher realms of existence, you joyously merged your consciousness with the angelic realm, thereby experiencing the exquisite love force of the Creator in its purest form as you went forth to assist in the creation of worlds and realities beyond description. All the while you were experiencing these diverse facets of the Creator, your individualized spirit self was registering and recording each experience in your vast memory bank. For you knew there would come a time when you would need to draw forth into your consciousness all the wisdom you had gained in the past. Since your descent into the world of physicality, your spirit self has been struggling to function within its physical overlay as you have played the game of duality and separation. In numerous lifetimes, you focused primarily on your spiritual nature while excluding other facets of your beingness. In others, the focus was almost exclusively on your mental nature, and in still others, your emotional nature was the driving force from within. It is time to bring all these diverse facets of your nature back into harmony so that you may function in a state of unified consciousness once more. When functioning within the illusional environment of the third, fourth dimensions, the most neglected facet of your being was your intuitive mind or soul. It is one of the greatest resources you have within you, for that is your connection to your higher self and ultimately to the Creator Source. Your soul mind has a never-ending supply of fresh ideas and creative thought forms just waiting for you to tap into them. Your intuitive mind, or that small inner voice, will always point you in the right direction and help you make the right decision, if you will only listen. Since the fall into density, the soul mind has been mostly shut down within most of the general populace. 
With great sadness, after that inner voice was ignored for so many thousands of years, the soul retreated into semi-stillness or dormancy as an observer, waiting for the time when it would be called back into action as your partner in the journey of life. It is shining brighter and brighter in those of you who have diligently striven to reconnect to your soul, higher self, and God Ray, I Am Presence. It is now a constant loving companion who directs, inspires, nurtures, and even protects you. It will bring you together with members of your soul family or with those with whom you have something of importance to share. It will inspire and assist you in ways that will open the floodgates of abundance and in manifesting your highest visions when you are in alignment with the greatest good for all. Inspired thought and fresh creative ideas will pour forth effortlessly as you serve yourself and others by becoming a co-creator of all that is harmoniously beautiful, loving, and of the highest order. It may not seem so. However, a wondrous new vision, a powerful, probable future for humanity and the earth has taken shape and is being strengthened and magnified moment by moment. Envision a future whereby all humanity, as well as the mineral, vegetable, animal, human, devic, and elemental kingdoms will peacefully coexist on earth. An earth which is pristine in its beauty, has sparkling clear water and clean healthy air to breathe. A world of abundance and plenty where no one suffers from lack of adequate food, shelter, or opportunity. A unified world whereby different races, cultures, beliefs, and traditions are honored and respected where no one tries to force his or her beliefs on others or deny others the right to live their own truths and follow their own customs. As more and more of you slowly withdraw your attention from the self-limiting thought patterns of old, they are gradually dissolving and becoming ineffectual. Have we not told you over and over again? Thoughts have energy, positive or negative, and what you focus on, you magnify with your energy. When you allow the attributes of your God Self to merge and the refined energy of spirit becomes the dominant force in your life, the path is cleared for you to begin the process of accessing the rarefied frequency patterns of the full spectrum of the 12 rays of your Diamond Core God Self. You are now integrating the gifts of the myriad parts of yourself, those individualized soul fragments of self who have also made the journey into density, those who are ready to share their wisdom and adventures with you. Therefore, you do not have to have all the answers, just as it was not necessary for you to experience every single facet of earthly life. Your divine soul companions will share their important gems of wisdom with you, just as you have your unique experiences and wisdom to share with them. Remember, my brave warriors, within your personal divine blueprint for the Aquarian Age are the memory seed atoms of the future which will assist you, the star seed, to recreate paradise on earth. We are here to support and inspire you. All the forces of heaven are at your beck and call. Reach inward and upward. We will respond. In love and gratitude, I salute you, beloved ones. I am Archangel Mikael.